Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Eric Benish, executive producer for NBA 2K21. And I am Mike Wang, uh, the NBA 2K gameplay director, a.k.a. Baluba. And uh, before I can even say anything, we've already loaded the game. We're in gameplay, just like that. It's that fast. Uh, here we're getting a good look at Lower Bowl right away. Um, you can see all of the players, the staff of the arena, uh, like the security guards, the referees are warming up, all of the coaches are huddling. It's just an incredible coming together in real time uh, of all. And there's Ali LaForce right there on the screen. You see so much new content in the game this year that Lower Bowl, I'm just so impressed by what the team did making the arenas come alive. And definitely something we could never do on the uh, current gen. Absolutely. Like the next gen hardware, it opens so many doors for us for what's possible, not just for the presentation element we just showed there. Um, it affects everything, like how great the players look, how realistically they move, um, the lighting, uh, the reflections. Just, I, I know a lot of people like to make fun of it, but honestly, the sweat looks incredible. Uh, I love the sweat. It, I, I, you know, I do too. Uh, the overall look of the game is true next gen to me, and that's something I'm very, very proud of. Yeah, big shout out to the R team. They really stepped up and they did some great work this year. For sure. So, like I was saying, this is our, our real first look at real gameplay, just unedited, raw gameplay. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, we showed a, a very short clip earlier on this year, and uh, we showed this camera, and uh, this is a camera that we talked about, Eric, when we were watching some of the games in the bubble. Uh, they were showing this camera, or this camera view from the, from the floor that we really liked, so that would be good to show off the visuals, and it's kind of fun to play in something real close like this. Yeah, I love, I love this real cam. It, it, for me, like, showing off the visuals was so key to our next-gen experience, and bringing the camera closer to the actors, uh, putting it lower to the floor, it... it it brings a whole fresh new perspective to the NBA game. Like, I've been, you know, playing this game here as an employee for over 18 years, and I, I feel like this year, it's amazingly fresh to me, and I just I can't wait to come to work every day to play it. Absolutely. And there was a quick look at the uh, one of the new green flashes you'll see when you get a green. People love their green releases. You're probably hearing um, a new announcing crew actually going on right now. Uh, we actually have a complete, you know, second commentary team into the game this year. So whenever you're, that was, that was awesome. big. Um, so whenever you're playing the game, you can get one of two actual commentary crews, and this one's headed by Brian Anderson uh, doing the play-by-play. -play. We have Grant Hill doing color, mm -hmm. and I know you saw Allie LaForce earlier. She's the sideline reporter for this crew, uh, and they can be joined by you know our large number of guest commentators. We have. Uh, it's really impressive what the audio team has done. Just. You know, having different dynamic crews kind of come into your games and, you know, commentate them. So each experience is unique. Yeah, and just to go back to that last possession, too, just um, that was something we talked about in the blogs was the ability to do contact out loops this year. That's our new impact engine at work, and it's, um, it's really nice because you don't feel snatched into these things, but um, you get some really nice contact at the rim that we didn't have before. So really excited about that. Like one thing you added, Mike, this year that I really, really enjoy is honestly like the, the foot planning kind of tech you have in the game. That, Wanna, yeah, you, sometimes you can't it. even really appreciate it until you like compare side by side current gen and next gen. But if you just watch the players' feet, you can see them taking steps, and that's something that they were sometimes would slid around and didn't look as good as it would be. Yeah, so. yeah, I mean we have so much more we uh, can and want to talk about, um, but you know honestly we just wanted to give you a couple of minutes of uh, gameplay. I want to thank everyone for watching this, um, for following us for all these years, for supporting us on the next gen. Um, we have so much more uh, to show you. Um, we have WNBA beats coming up uh, about the W. We have my NBA uh, and more on the mode formerly known as the neighborhood. So stay tuned and I promise you are going to enjoy it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone.